hello children uh, from today i am starting a new chapter uh, which is the chapter number 5 states of matter gases and liquids so uh, this time according to your reduced syllabus this fifth point kinetic theory of gases it is not there in your syllabus up to this term pressure only van der waal equation and related explanation is there this last point sixth this complete point is not there in your syllabus okay students so uh, we have to discuss all the laws gas laws uh, types of intermolecular interactions and ideal gas equation also van der waals equation this much only so the first heading is introduction so we all know that there are three different states of matter and this chapter is related with a very important state of substance or matter which is known as gaseous state so according to the triple point definition this is the temperature at which all three states of the substance exist together okay so triple point means it is the temperature at which a particular substance is existing in its all three different physical forms means solid liquid and gases so such temperature is known as triple point okay the difference in the physical properties of a substance in different states is due to the difference in the intermolecular forces so intermolecular forces means forces present between the molecule and the molecule okay so forces uh, present between the molecules is known as intermolecular forces and uh, the different physical states of a substance are found due to the difference in the intermolecular forces of attraction so there are number of types of forces of attractions uh, which are collectively known as van der waal forces of attraction or simply as intermolecular forces so according to lines uh, which are given here in a book intermolecular forces are the forces of attraction and repulsion which exist among the molecules of a substance this term does not include the electrostatic forces okay so electrostatic forces uh, the forces which are present between the different charged ions uh, these electrostatic forces are not included in intermolecular forces of attraction okay now greater the strength of intermolecular forces higher is the boiling and melting points of the substance we can say that substances having high boiling and melting points have greater strength of intermolecular forces these intermolecular forces are collectively called as van der waals forces so all different type of intermolecular forces which are given here are collectively known as van der waal forces or van der waal forces of attraction so these forces are dispersion or london forces dipole dipole forces dipole induced dipole forces ion induced dipole forces ion dipole interactions and hydrogen bonding this hydrogen bonding we have already studied in the chapter uh, chemical bonding so we are not going to discuss uh, this sixth point here in this chapter 
okay so according to the next statement which is given here it is important to note that ion dipole and ion induced dipole attractive forces are not van der waals forces okay so these two forces are not the van der waal forces these are not included as van der waal forces and also hydrogen bonding is a special type of bonding so this is also not included in van der waal force of attraction so these three are not there in van der waal force of attraction so the first heading dispersion forces or linden forces these are the attractive forces which act among non polar molecules such as n2 o2 f2 etc or mono atomic gases such as helium neon argon etc such molecules or atoms are electrically symmetrical and have no dipole moment because their electronic charge cloud is symmetrically distributed okay so these are the units uh, which are not having any type of charge due to the symmetrical uh, distribution of the electronic charges okay so how these units are exerting intermolecular forces of attraction but a dipole moment may develop momentarily even in such molecules or atoms which are non polar in nature these forces are supposed to arise from the motion of the electrons okay so as we can see uh, with the help of this example which is given here atom a and atom b these are two neutral atoms and having symmetrical distribution of electronic charge cloud around these atom now at a particular instant of time the electron density in a atom is maximum at right hand side and at this particular time when the electron density is maximum at right hand side then opposite extreme means left hand side of the atom will be least electron denser and due to this at that instant of time only this atom become bipolar and when this atom become bipolar so uh, neighboring atom which is atom b will also become bipolar okay due to the polarity uh, which is formed in this atom okay so a force of attraction will come in existence between these two atoms for that instant of time at the next moment the electron cloud in a uh, get denser in left hand side of the atom and at right hand side it will have least density okay and due to this again atom b uh, will become dipolar so due to these uh, polarity separation again a uh, force of attraction uh, will form between these two atoms which will uh, hold these two atoms together for that instant of time okay so such forces of attraction uh, which come in existence due to the uneven distribution of electrons at a particular instant of time in neutral atoms or molecules due to which intermolecular or interatomic force of attraction is come to existence 
इज नोन एज लंडन फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन और डिस्पर्सन फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन और डिस्पर्सन फोर्सेस और लंडन फोर्सेस ओके सो द टेम्परेरी डाइपोल्स ऑफ एटम ए एंड एटम बी अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर सिमिलरली सच टाइप ऑफ टेम्परेरी डाइपोल्स आर इंड्यूस्ड इन मॉलिक्यूल्स लाइक हाइड्रोजन नाइट्रोजन एंड फ्लोरिन द अट्रैक्शन फोर्सेस अमंग द इंस्टेंटेनियस डाइपोल्स आर कॉल्ड लंडन फोर्सेस और डिस्पर्सन फोर्सेस these are the weakest intermolecular forces okay students the second type of forces are dipole dipole forces so as the name is indicating that these forces are found in such molecules which are behaving like a dipole okay so for example in hcl as we all know uh, this is a polar covalent compound uh, and chlorine atom is more electronegative than hydrogen atom that is why this chlorine atom is carrying partial negative charge and against to uh, this partial negative charge this hydrogen is carrying same amount of partial positive charge so this molecule is uh converted in the form of dipole okay so all the molecules of hcl uh, which will be present in a particular medium or in container will be in the form of dipole only so one end of the molecule of hcl will be get attracted by the opposite end of the other molecule of the hcl okay so such interactions are known as dipole dipole forces important facts about dipole dipole forces first point the magnitude of dipole forces depend upon the charge developed on the polar molecule and the distance between the two nuclei okay so amount of the charge and the distance between the nuclei the second point dipole moment of h2o is 1.85 de by while that of msc is 1.49 de by so water has higher dipole moment higher water has higher dipole moment and that is why higher boiling point than ammonia okay and also water exists in liquid form the attractive forces which are dipole forces decreases with the increase of distance between the dipoles the dipole dipole interactions are stronger than london forces okay because london forces are uh, found in uh, neutral units but are weaker than ion ion interactions next type of forces dipole induced dipole forces so this type of attractive forces operate between polar molecules having permanent dipole and non polar molecules which do not have permanent dipole a non polar molecule may be polarized by a polar molecule near it okay and this polarized molecule will be attracted by permanent dipole so the interaction which will be present between permanent dipole and induced dipole will be known as dipole induced dipole forces of attraction so as you can see with the help of this example ab is a permanent dipolar molecule and this is a non polar molecule so when uh, this molecule which is non polar will come closer to this dipolar molecule this non polar molecule will receive induced dipolar nature 
ड्यू टू दिस परमानेंट डाइपोलर मॉलिक्यूल ओके सो चार्ज सपरेशन विल बी फाउंड हेयर ऑल्सो इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ दिस परमानेंट डाइपोल एंड ड्यू टू दिस चार्ज सपरेशन दिस टू विल फील फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन विच विल बी नोन एज डाइपोल इंड्यूस डाइपोल फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन ओके नाउ द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इंड्यूस डाइपोल मोमेंट डिपेंड्स मेनली ऑन टू फैक्टर्स एंड दिस फैक्टर्स आर डाइपोल मोमेंट ऑफ द परमानेंट डाइपोल एंड द पोलरिजिबिलिटी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकली न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल पोलरिजिबिलिटी मीन्स हाउ ईजी दिस न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल गेट पोलराइज इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ दिस पोलर मॉलिक्यूल सो दिस विल बी नोन एज पोलरिजिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस नॉन पोलर मॉलिक्यूल फोर्थ टाइप ऑफ फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन आयन इंड्यूस डाइपोल फोर्सेस सो अ नॉन पोलर मॉलिक्यूल मे बी पोलराइज बाई एन आयन नियर इट इट इज कॉल्ड इंड्यूस डाइपोल द इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन द आयन एंड इंड्यूस डाइपोल इज कॉल्ड आयन इंड्यूस डाइपोल इंटरेक्शन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ सच इंटरेक्शन डिपेंड अपॉन द चार्ज ऑफ द आयन एंड पोलरिजिबिलिटी ऑफ द नॉन पोलर मॉलिक्यूल सो एज यू कैन सी हेयर दैट इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ नाइट्रेट आयन न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ आयोडीन इज गेट पोलराइज ओके एंड ड्यू टू दिस पोलराइजेशन अ फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज कॉम इन एग्जिस्टेंस बिटवीन दीज टू विच इज नोन एज आयन इंड्यूस्ड dipole force of attraction then the last ion dipole interactions so these are the interactions which are present among ion and a dipole molecule okay so ion and dipole molecules ke beech mein jo force of attraction hoga that will be known as ion dipole interactions or force of attraction okay so uh, this type of interactions occur between an ion and a polar molecule like h2o for example when we dissolve any ionic compound like nacl or kb or cacl2 these ions ionic compounds dissociates in the form of ions for example when nacl is dissolved in water nacl is dissociated in the form of na plus ion and cl minus ion okay and these ions are surrounded by polar molecule of water so such ions which are get surrounded by molecules of water are known as hydrated ions and the process is known as hydration of ions okay so as you can see here in this diagram that uh, here uh, in sodium ion this positive ion is get surrounded by water molecules but with negative ends only so negative end of the water molecule is towards the positive ion and in the case of this chloride ion the positive ends of the water molecules are towards the chloride ion okay so such ions are known as hydrated ions the strength of these interactions depend upon the first point magnitude of the dipole moment of polar molecule first point according to second point charge and size of the ion third point interactions are larger if the charge on the ion is high and its size is small and the fourth point which is very important the interaction are usually stronger for the cation than the anion it is because the charge density of cation is larger than the anion having same charge but bigger size okay so uh, these are the type of intermolecular interactions 
द नेक्स्ट हैविंग इज थर्मल एनर्जी सो थर्मल एनर्जी इज द मेजर ऑफ द कानाटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द कानाटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल्स ओके सो इफ कानाटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल्स विल बी हायर थर्मल एनर्जी विल ऑल्सो हायर सो एज यू कैन सी हेयर intermolecular forces uh, solid with highest intermolecular forces of attraction and gases with least but thermal energy in gases it is highest and in solid it is least but the liquid is having intermediate thermal energy next heading the gaseous state we all know that uh, this is the very important state of a substance or matter in which substance or matter is having indefinite volume and indefinite shape so general characters of gases first the volume and shape of the gases is not fixed take up the volume and shape of the container compressibility highly compressible gases exert pressure equally in all directions so third point very important point fourth point gases are having lowest density in comparison to other states of the matter then gases are having high rate of diffusion okay high rate of highest rate of you can say highest rate of diffusion because uh, molecules of gases are uh, diffused most rapidly in comparison to other two states of the matter then a uh, gas laws these are the laws with the help of which we can discuss the behavior of gases okay and the first law boyle's law so according to the first definition of boyle's law at constant temperature the pressure of a fixed amount of gas is inversely proportional to the volume so this is the mathematical expression of boyle's law Uh, we have already studied these all the laws in uh, ninth class also so p is inversely proportional to v at constant temperature okay and the product of pressure and volume of a particular gas will be equals to constant according to the second definition at constant temperature and for a given mass of the gas the product of pressure and volume is constant so on this on the basis of this statement we can derive uh, this equation which is known as boyle's equation p1 v1 is equals to p2 v2 at constant temperature okay students then nature of curves at constant temperature so these all different types of curves are known as isotherms because these are drawn at constant temperature okay so the first curve for the first diagram at constant temperature and for a given mass of the gas the graphs between volume and pressure are shown in figure 5.7 this is here the value of k1 for each curve is different so the value of k1 is different because temperature is different at different temperature value of rate constant is different okay or gas constant not rate constant it is gas constant so value of gas constant is different it is important to know that in graph a the nature of the curve remains same if pressure p is taken on x axis and volume v on y axis so uh, for here the nature of the curve will remain same if we uh, just interchange these two values v uh, to y axis and p to x axis so there will be no any change in the nature of the curve okay so this first curve is Uh, p versus v at different temperature 
and the second curve is p versus 1 upon v at different temperature so these lines are the straight lines because p is directly proportional to 1 upon v okay now if we are uh, going a uh, p v versus p curve here so these all curves are a straight line where t2 is greater than t1 so as the temperature will increase the related line will be uh, found here above to the uh, first line okay so t2 is here if we are going to take a next higher temperature then the line will be somewhere here okay so these are the graphs uh, related to Boyle's law and all are known as isotherms okay so second point at constant temperature and for a given mass of the gas the graphs between 1 upon v and p is a straight line as i told you already okay then significance of Boyle's law and the very important significance uh, with the help of Boyle's law we can prove the compressibility of the gas on increasing the pressure okay this is the importance of Boyle's law then relation between pressure and density of the gas so according uh, to a relation we know that volume of a given mass of a gas will be equals to mass of the gas divided by its density okay so v1 will be m upon d1 and v2 will be m upon d2 but according to Boyle's law p1 v1 equals to p2 v2 so by putting uh, this uh, v2 value here this v1 and v2 value here in this relation we will get p1 m upon d1 equals to p2 m upon d2 so m is the mass of gas so overall it will be changes to p1 d1 equals to p2 upon d2 p1 upon d1 equals to p2 upon d2 so this is the relation between pressure and density of the gas okay students thank you